The Model Systems Knowledge Translation Center presents Emotional Problems After Traumatic Brain Injury. This slideshow is based on research conducted by the Traumatic Brain Injury Model Systems and serves as a resource for individuals with traumatic brain injury and their supporters. The Model Systems Knowledge Translation Center is funded by the National Institute on Disability and Rehabilitation Research. This resource summarizes the research on emotional problems that may occur after incurring a traumatic brain injury. It also serves to help people with traumatic brain injury understand why they may experience changes in the way they feel or express emotions. Traumatic brain injury can cause emotional lability. When experiencing emotional lability, some people may experience emotions very quickly and intensely, but with very little lasting effect. For example, they may get angry easily, but get over it quickly. Or they may seem to be on an emotional roller coaster in which they're happy one moment, sad the next, and then angry. What causes emotional lability? Some of the causes of emotional lability are damage to the part of the brain that controls emotions and behavior. Often there is no specific event that triggers a sudden emotional response. In some cases, the brain injury can cause sudden episodes of crying or laughing. These emotional expressions or outbursts may not have any relationship to the way the person feels. In other words, they may cry without feeling sad or laugh without feeling happy. In some cases, the emotional expression may not match the situation, such as laughing at a sad story. Usually, the person cannot control these expressions of emotion. What can be done about emotional lability? Fortunately, this situation often improves in the first few months after injury, and people often return to a more normal emotional balance and expression. If you are having problems controlling your emotions, it is important to talk to a physician or psychologist to find out the cause and get help with treatment. Counseling for the family can be reassuring and allows them to cope better on a daily basis. Several medications may help improve or stabilize mood. You should consult a physician familiar with the emotional problems caused by a brain injury. What family members or others can do to help with emotional lability. Remain calm if an emotional outburst occurs and avoid reacting emotionally yourself. Take the person to a quiet area to help him or her calm down and regain control. Acknowledge feelings and give the person a chance to talk about their feelings. Provide feedback gently and supportively after the person gains control. Gently redirect attention to a different topic or activity. Anxiety is described as a feeling of fear or nervousness that is out of proportion to the situation. People may experience feeling anxious and not know why, or become anxious about making too many mistakes or failing a task. Situations such as being in crowds, being rushed, or adjusting to sudden changes in plan can be harder to handle after a traumatic brain injury. Some people may experience onsets of anxiety that can be overwhelming, described as panic attacks. Anxiety may be related to a very stressful situation. Sometimes the situation that caused the injury gets replayed in the person's mind over and over and interferes with sleep or post-traumatic stress disorder. What causes anxiety after traumatic brain injury? Some of the causes of anxiety are 
difficulty reasoning and concentrating can make it hard for the person with traumatic brain injury to solve problems. Anxiety often happens when there are too many demands on the injured person, such as returning to employment too soon after injury. Situations that require a lot of attention and information processing can make people with traumatic brain injury anxious. What can be done to control anxiety? You can control anxiety by trying to reduce the environmental demands and unnecessary stresses that may be causing anxiety. Provide reassurance to help calm the person and allow them to reduce their feelings of anxiety when they occur. Add structured activities into the daily routine, such as exercising, volunteering, church activities, or self-help groups. Anxiety can be helped by certain medications, by psychotherapy or counseling from a mental health professional who is familiar with traumatic brain injury, or a combination of medications and counseling. Depression happens when the injured person experiences feelings of sadness, frustration, and loss. These feelings often appear during the later stages of recovery, after the individual has become more aware of the long-term situation. If these feelings become overwhelming or interfere with recovery, the person may be suffering from depression. Symptoms of depression include feeling sad or worthless, changes in sleep or appetite, difficulty concentrating, withdrawing from others, loss of interest or pleasure in life, feeling tired and sluggish, or thoughts of death or suicide. What causes depression after a traumatic brain injury? The causes of depression after a traumatic brain injury can arise as a person struggles to adjust to temporary or lasting disability and loss, or to changes in one's roles in the family and society caused by the brain injury. They may also occur if the injury has affected areas of the brain that control emotion. Both biochemical and physical changes in the brain can cause depression. What can be done about depression? Antidepressant medications, psychotherapy or counseling from a mental health professional who is familiar with traumatic brain injury or a combination of the two can help most people who have depression. Aerobic exercise and structured activities during each day can sometimes help reduce depression. It is best to get treatment early to prevent needless suffering. Temper outburst and irritability is what family members of individuals with traumatic brain injury often describe the injured person as having a short fuse, flying off the handle easily, being irritable, or having a quick temper. The injured person may yell, use bad language, throw objects, slam fist into things, slam doors, or threaten or hurt family members or others. What causes temper outburst after a traumatic brain injury? The causes of temper outburst after a traumatic brain injury are receiving an injury to the parts of the brain that control emotional expression. Experiencing frustration and dissatisfaction with the changes in life brought on by the injury, such as loss of one's job and independence. Feeling isolated, depressed, or misunderstood. Having difficulty concentrating, remembering, expressing oneself, or following conversations. Experiencing pain or tiring easily. What can be done about temper problems? Temper problems can be controlled by reducing stress and decreasing irritating situations 
Learning some basic anger management skills, such as self-calming strategies, relaxation, and better communication methods, and taking certain medications prescribed to help control temper outbursts. Family members can help by changing the way they react to temper outbursts. Understand that being irritable and getting angry easily is due to the brain injury. Try not to take it personally. Do not try to argue with the injured person during an outburst. Instead, let him or her cool down for a few minutes first. Do not try to calm the person down by giving in to his or her demands. Set some rules for communication. Let the injured person know that it is not acceptable to yell at, threaten, or hurt others. Refuse to talk to the injured person when he or she is yelling or throwing a temper tantrum. After the outburst is over, talk about what might have led to the outburst. Encourage the injured person to discuss the problem in a calm way. Suggest other outlets, such as leaving the room and taking a walk when the person feels anger coming on. If you or your family members are experiencing anxiety, feelings of sadness or depression, irritability or mood swings, consider asking your doctor, would psychological counseling be helpful? Would an evaluation by a psychiatrist be helpful? Are there medications that can help? If you or your family member tries a medication for one of these problems, it is very important to work closely with the physician or other healthcare provider who prescribes them. Remember that there can be a delay until the beneficial effects of medications are felt. Doses might need to be adjusted by your doctor for maximum benefit. You may need to try one or more different medications to find the one that works best for you. Except in an emergency, you should not stop taking a prescribed medication without consulting your doctor. Remember too that not all help comes from professionals. You may benefit from joining a brain injury support group, some specialize in persons with traumatic brain injury, receiving peer monitoring, in which a person who has coped with a traumatic brain injury gives support and suggestions to someone struggling with similar problems. Checking with your local Brain Injury Association chapter for more resources and talking to someone you consider to be a good listener. For additional resources on living with a traumatic brain injury, please visit the Model Systems Knowledge Translation Center website at www.msktc.org.